developed country uh, following the climate change you know that the uh, 1872 uh, signatories of the environmental change agency that's why uh, uh, we can't say that the developed country not following the uh, uh, climate change policy they are actually uh, following and preventing and in uh, innovating the in green energy sector uh, I have already discussed in my uh, research and highlighted the points that the developed countries now following the renewable energy production and trying to cut the emissions. Yeah, white right, no. Hope that answers the question. Do we have any other question? Do I, oh, there is there is a gentleman. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Jim Pan. I am from DHS University. International Relations Department. First of all, I would like to thank all of the honorable guest speakers for enlightening us with their words of wisdom. My question is for Dr. Ahmed uh, Sir, my question is that why did Pakistan join a Polish advancement for its uh, technology and military? Why not UK or uh, France? Although during the inception of Pakistan, uh, Pakistan was in the Western block of politics under USA, the capitalist block, and while Poland was in the Eastern block of communist USSR. So, uh, how come these military sure. relationships developed? Yeah. Why we are in need of developing relations with Poland, not with France, but why not with France and Germany and most advanced countries? And he said that we are in the American bloc, in the capitalist bloc, and Polish are not, then why we are inclined towards Poland? Now, I shall answer you from my own personal personal and professional experience. I have worked with Polish officers, I have worked with 40 nationalities. And I am not saying because they are sitting here. I am not saying because they are sitting here. I am saying based on my professional experience. I have found Polish figures. there is a problem, they are there to eradicate. When there is a query, they are there to solve it. Other people, they have become materialistic. They are not materialistic. That is why I wanted to introduce George Green. He was not materialistic. He carried out his own work, he got his work published by his own money, and he distributed the credit by himself, and he used to be a distributor. They have technology. I have their attitude is very positive. Not because of this concept that I am convinced. I was already convinced in 1991 when the Polish contingent came to Bulgaria. They were the only one. They were the only one who did not ask for money who did not demand anything from us. I was on Swanland at that time. I am talking of 1991, when the first World War took place. There I came across, but of course this is Polish art. 
Very nice meeting. This is my I believe this was the last question we have to finish, but before we do that, just a few final remarks from my side. Well, uh, this is, you know, to, 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 to give some final con conclusions, it's always a, a privilege and a great honor, but also it's a, it's a great challenge. Because, uh, first of all, we had several papers on, on different topics, different angles, so it's very, I would say, a, a, a problem to, 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 to do that. But what I really enjoyed, well, first of all, they really correspondent with my research area, so it was uh, a pl pleasure to, 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 to hear all of you, but it's the fact that uh, in that panel we, we combined the past with the current situation, also, also the future. And when it comes to, to, to the past, we have that saying that if you don't know the history, you are doomed to repeat mistakes that were already made, so it's good to know uh, history and that was because you, you said that you want to introduce that person to to the audience and uh, well, maybe I should not say this but I was not aware of that person and before I came here I read about him on the internet and I realized that that guy Jan de Bloch or Jan Bloch in Polish uh, he was a designer of a railway in my city so every time I go to Warsaw to the airport I use this uh, railway so thank you very much you know uh, <laughs> Um, uh, we, we touched upon different, different issues, but I think I will just uh, stick to one, cybersecurity, uh, which is one of examples we, of threats we see right now and probably will also see in the future, as was said. So uh, this is an emerging threat and, and security issue. And this is, uh, since yesterday, we, are, we, we, we have been looking for a, a field of cooperation between Pakistan and Poland. And I would say that cybersecurity, IT, um, uh, is, is a field that we can do something together, you know, because we live in a, in a global village and now it's very easy to, to um, you know, link with someone from a different country. So this is, this is uh, a field I think we could do something, something together. And IT, IT uh, it was said earlier, IT um, branch of industry in Poland is right now highly developed and they are looking for for great experts. And also, um, if you look at numbers, Polish companies are under attack, and number of attacks, I mean, cyber attacks, have been increasing. So this is definitely uh, an issue we have to follow. And also, I think the same situation uh, is or will be in, in, in Pakistan. So, um, because I have to finish a last, last sentence from, from my side, and I, I believe I'm, I'm talking on behalf of everyone from Poland. Thank you very much for hospitality. Thank you for being a great host. It was a great pleasure and also a fun uh, to be here in Karachi. Thank you very much.
डॉक्टर असगर अली दश्ती प्लीज कम ऑन स्टेज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर आर्काइज Zoski Chairman Institute of Political Science University of Warmia and Mysore please come on stage Honorary Consul General Mirza Umar Beg please come on stage <laughs> Professor Dr Hak Paul Bilgos Vice Rector of International Affairs University of Warmia and Mysore please come on stage Now we'll address Dr. Azhar Ali Dashti. Please come on the mic. Once again, I welcome you all on behalf of Department of IR, Federal Urdu University, <coughs> for coming over here for your participation. We are highly thankful. Uh, <coughs> today we are here to honor the contribution and the struggle of Department of IR, Federal Urdu University, and our fellow colleagues. and our fellow colleagues uh, uh, i already said that this credit goes to our fellow colleague dr faisal javed who made this conference possible i have already told you yesterday in my speech and i repeat this because he should be appreciated for organizing such an international conference and he did his best and this conference is based on pak polan relationship and we think that it's an effort from our side to make to build connection and relation between both states because we don't have such warm uh, relationship between pakistan and poland and this conference will bridge the all gaps i can hope and or all we should be hopeful well uh, now you know uh, governor sindh is coming so uh, i request dr rizwana jabi to proceed Uh, other remaining programs accordingly thank you so much i want to welcome professor dr hub arkay zoski chairman institute of political science university of warmia and mysore please come on the stage okay uh, hello uh, good afternoon uh, it is really pleasure to say thank you thank you very much for so marvelous wonderful uh, conference we did not expect that this conference will be really such success in scientific way but also as a human beings that Uh, we are now not only establishing contacts we not only built bridges as uh, head of the department said but uh, the friendship is is coming in our scientific uh, you know uh, relations then there i think is very long list of people persons uh, who Uh, were so much engaged in organizing this uh, uh, conference from Pakistani side of course with the support of vice chancellor and uh, thank you very much for uh, for support from a uh, head of department professor dashti and of course professor faisal javed dr arif and many many others Uh, from police side i would like to send many thanks to dr magdalena kumelska konetsko who from polish side organize so organize this uh, conference so many thanks to our rector and vice rector thank you that despite so many duties you found time just to come to pakistan and i hope not only the first and the last time i think we should start cooperation in many fields so of course uh, words of welcome also and thanks for uh, honorary uh, consul general in karachi 
sorry, Mirza Amir Baik. Thank you for your participation uh, in uh, our uh, closing uh, ceremony. And of course, very important were and are speakers. There are so many, as I said, outstanding scholars, professors, doctors, uh, PhD students, and uh, also students. And if we look at the program of the conference, there were almost whole topics of, of our interests. As I said, political, economic, cultural, military, uh, environmental, and, 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 and so. So, thank you very much. And we, uh, I can uh, find different uh, methodological and theoretical approaches. Neorealism, neoliberalism, neo-functionalism, and in the end, uh, Jean Bloch uh, Fiori, which is in Poland uh, quite popular and even his book was translated into uh, Polish. And I think deep analysis on, on the past, on the current situation, and what is important on future were, uh, were made and I think properly diagnosed. We see not only opportunities, but also threats, hindrances, obstacles, but, uh, at, uh, uh, and also uh, potential. And a cordially uh, words to students, at first uh, from organizing committee. Your assistant was really great, and also Poster presentations were uh, very, uh, very impressed. And during the breaks, many questions uh, I got from, uh, from the students. And in the end, students as the participants. And I think that this conference will inspire you not only uh, to develop bilateral relations with not only Poland, but other countries, but give you ins inspire and example uh, just to study, to study and uh, make some reflection what is going on in international relation because the world is changing, the new order is, is, is coming. So I think it is a great challenge uh, for us as a as an academia, or for us as a human beings. And in the end, once more, thank you, thank you very much for your hospitality, very well organized conference. I am very impressed. Now, our next speaker, Honorary Consulate General Mirza Umair Beg, Honorary Consulate General in Karachi. Sir, please come on stage. Hello, everyone. Salaam alaikum. Uh, on behalf of all the Polish missions in Karachi, in Pakistan, rather, I'd like to congratulate the organizers, Dr. Faisal, the participants. And I'm honestly overwhelmed being around such superstars of the academia field that uh, I'm humbled to be here. You know, I think everyone has said, uh, everything about the future, but I think we should take a moment and reflect at the past. Earlier, I heard a question uh, when I was waiting for this panel to go up. Why Poland? Why didn't, uh, even though Poland was more on the communism block at that point, we were in the US block. Uh, the relationship with Poland, more than collaboration between the two countries, it's also a very emotional relationship as well. After World War II, when Polish troops could not go back to Pakistan, uh, go back to Poland, Pakistan opened up its doors to uh, the Polish troops. In return, those Polish troops had such a significant role in helping Pakistan, well, let it be setting up our Air Force, let it be setting up our Navy, let it be setting up our space program. 
So this relationship is a relationship of love and trust between the two countries and it's so heartwarming to see that it's being reignited and I hope this, these types of events are first of many to come and uh, again many many congratulations to the organizers and participants and uh, hopefully there'll be many more in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Merbeek. Uh, now we have some certificates of, for the students. Uh, shield to Dr. Uzma Siraj. Professor Dr. Uzma Siraj, in charge, Islamabad Campus, Department of International Relations. Please, uh, BS2 students, come on stage for photo session. BS2. Only BS4 semester come on stage. सब अपनी जगहों पे बैठ जाएं जस्ट बीएस फोर सब्सिडी स्टूडेंट सब्सिडी बीएस फोर सब्सिडी बीएस टू सब्सिडी साथ बुला लें दोनों को बहुत जान दें तो दोनों साथ बुला लें हम साथ बुला लें बीएस फोर सब्सिडी एंड बीएस फोर Honorary guests, uh, faculty members, students, attendees of the conference, let me welcome you here again, actually at the end of the, of the uh, conference. Uh, so I'm probably supposed to give some words of summary of, of the conference, what you found during the sessions. Unfortunately, I did not attend the whole conference because of the other duties, but uh, I think I saw a lot of new things for me. So. Uh, Concluding, we can say that we have quite uh, interesting joint history, starting from Polish explorers who drew the maps of uh, some regions of the Pakistan. Uh, of course, uh, on many occasions, uh, Polish war refugees 
from 1940 were mentioned. See, we have some small Polish diaspora in, in uh, Karachi. And of course, our uh, former uh, Polish army members came here to support Pakistan during uh, first years of the independence to uh, establish primarily uh, the Pakistani Air Force to train the pilots and so on. Uh, as I read uh, recently, they were very motivated, very trained, of course, and they were war vet veterans, but hard-minded, no suicides. <laughs> um, but many presentations also concern the prospects of future cooperation. Of course, uh, the major thing of the conference is that uh, it's a joint conference. It's co-organized by Pakistani and Polish research groups. Okay, so it's not conference on po Pakistani-Polish relations, but it's joint conference, jointly organized. So, so this is very important step uh, forward, you know, to try to work together because organization of such a large conference required quite a lot of efforts. So both teams from Pol Polish side and from Pakistani side have to interact a, lo a lot and uh, collaborate. In terms of uh, prospects of future collaboration, of course, uh, this is the energy. This is one of the major points because you have gas, but you need more advanced technology maybe to, to explore it, your resources, I mean your supplies of gas. But our economy, uh, on some presentations you saw our gross products, gross product, it's quite large, and for this gross product, of course, you need a lot of energy to produce goods that we can then sell. Uh, we have, of course, this quite large uh, trade deficit between Pakistan and Poland, so we sell more to Poland almost 10 times, comparing to what we sell to Pakistan. But what we can do, we, we like your textiles, <laughs> your uh, clothes, <laughs> so we will continue buying your goods. <laughs> we can do nothing about that. Another uh, interesting field for cooperation is IT, because IT actually now, in this uh, current state of the affairs, does not have any borders. So basically you can work in Pakistan, you can res res reside or stay in Pakistan, but you can work remotely in Poland, and also people from Poland can work in Pakistan in the IT because it's already, it's, it's already happening. Uh, at our university we have quite interesting uh, IT uh, faculty. We teach informatics and mathematics. Uh, what about some summer similarities between our countries? Um, we have, as Professor mentioned, quite aggressive uh, neighbors. So we have to pay attention to our security, our uh, uh, forces. But uh, Poland is probably, because of the NATO membership, it's clearly in a better situation because you have like 30 alias, including the US. So uh, we don't need to, how to say, be prepared only by ourselves. Okay, because you have many allies around. Uh, I didn't finish yet. <laughs> and of course, uh, we have to uh, increase the public awareness between Poland and Pakistan, because Pakistan, as I said yesterday, is not well known in Poland. And probably uh, Poland is also not too well known in, in Pakistan. So the awareness in the uh, societies is the first step, then political decision, then uh, agreements and economic cooperation. So this is the clear way. Uh, but I saw from the presentations that we have really, really huge potential for collaboration. We can uh, do many things jointly. How to say, we, can, uh, we are complementary in some ways. Okay? And uh, maybe a few exp uh, words of the explanation about the history, because there was a question at the last session, why Polish soldiers, Polish uh, troops, they didn't go back to Poland, but they went to, uh, to Pakistan, and also why Pakistan employed Polish troops even though Pakistan was in the Western Bloc and Poland was in the Eastern Bloc, I mean, Soviet Union Bloc. So during the war, actually, we have in Poland two governments. When Germany and Russia invited Poland, our government uh, flew to France and then to Eng England. So actually, it operated from England. Okay, it was like legal government. And this government created legal Polish army because many soldiers flew through Romania and Greece by the Mediterranean Sea to England. To, to form, to join Polish forces. So we call it Western Polish forces. But also when co co uh, Soviet Union, they beat Germany. So they came to Poland and they, uh, how to say, they installed a uh, Soviet, like, parallel government, okay? So we have two governments, 
like Soviet one in Poland, it also established Polish army, it was communist army, but we also have the government in London with Western uh, Polish army. And after the war, these uh, soldiers didn't uh, basically have a place to go, because when they come back to Poland, they will get arrested and, and killed usually by the communists. So they are looking some good place in the world to, to live. And as, I, as, we, as we saw, as we heard, many of them uh, have chosen uh, Karachi, and they were quite successful here. So basically, uh, now I think this is quite interesting and encouraging story. And uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. So many, many thanks, Professor Dr. Herb Paul Wilgos, Vice Director for International Affairs, University of Warmia and Mazure. Thanks again.